Hi everybody, I'm Mikey and this is part of the Advent Calendar series that is a crochet along. For those working on the crochet along with me, every few days a new video will be available to advance you to the next part of your project. There are 15 tutorials in all to complete today's project. If you're finding this and the crochet along is done, all videos will stay up indefinitely. In the more information of this video, you'll find a link to the playlist where all the tutorials will be listed in order for you to play along. The entire pattern is now available for free. For those who don't need a video, refer to the video description to get redirected to the pattern. So in the meantime, let's begin with today's tutorial to advance you to the next step and of course wishing you the very best of the festive season ahead. So here's the mitten. This is the next one up and it's three dimensional. You can stick your finger right into the middle of the mitten as if you're wearing it and it's a really cute idea. There is a slip stitching line that is on the back of this but it's it's not very obvious and it's awesome. So you can have two colors. You can have your main color and then you can have your choice of colors of mittens. You can do different colors of mittens if you want to for your tree and uh, we're gonna be starting off on the very top of the mitten first and then working our way and making our more self more narrow. Uh, we are going to be doing the thumb gusset at some point here just after we get beyond this and then we're going to then just work on the hand area and then etc. So let's uh, begin to do this step by step. It's really not that hard. It's just a lot of writing but it's really quite easy. So let's start off in the very beginning. We are going to use the main color and of course that's subjective to you. You can decide what works for you. You're gonna do a total of chaining of 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. So careful not to twist the chain. You just want to put the, the beginning on. Okay, so the chain is not twisted and just pull through and through to form the center. This is the very top of the mitten just like you see. So let's begin to do the first set of instructions. So let's begin to do row number one. We're gonna chain two. And we're gonna put in a half double crochet in each of the chains including the first one all the way around. So just wrap it two times and then pull through. So just make sure you get the chain section in each of the same loops as you're working all the way around. It makes it look consistent. Okay, so just do one half double crochet in each of the chains I'll see at the end of this chain. So once you come all the way around on it, I just want you to slip stitch it to the top of the first half double crochet. So don't worry about that chain two that you had started with. So that's all you're gonna do and I want you to get rid of this color now. So just fasten off and just pull through and we're going to join the main color of your mitten next. Okay, so just weave in your ends here. You can hide those in as you go and uh, not a big deal. So I'll see you here in just a moment as we start off the main color for your mittens. So let's bring on our next color. I'm going to make it green. So right where I stopped before I want to go into the back loop only. So if you're new to crochet there's always two strands. The first one here is the front loop. The other one in behind is the back loop. So diving right into the back loop only. I want you to attach first. Pulling it through. And what I want you to do is that we're going to then put a single crochet. So we're gonna chain up one and in the same one just in the back loop only single crochet. Just like that. So each one around just laid down this strand on top of it. So go into the back loop and single crochet. So that gets stuck into position. So go in the back loop and you just have to do it so then that strand gets trapped in for about an inch or so and then you can get rid of that out of your face. It's a good way of doing it without having to worry about it so much. So once you got it in about an inch you can just safely just trim that out. and then keep on going. So back loop only single crochet for the entire duration of this one here and then we're gonna move up and start making room to make a thumb next. So once you're all the way back around you're gonna go into each one and then you end up back in the very beginning and you're just gonna slip stitch to the first single crochet that you had started with like so. So now what we're going to do is that we're gonna work on the thumb gusset next and let's begin. So let's just do it slowly. We're gonna chain up one and I'm reading as I go. So chaining up one and then one single crochet in each of the first two single crochets. So we're just gonna go one and then single crochet and then next one and then stop for a second. Two single crochets in the next each of the two in each of the next two. So two single crochets into these ones. So one and two and then go to the next one, one and two. 
I've done regular mitts before so this makes sense. So we're gonna do that. So one single crochet in each of the remaining stitches. So you don't have to count anymore. So you're just gonna do one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around to the very beginning to where you had started. So what it is, it's growing it out as if somebody is actually gonna be wearing these. These are actually functional mitts if you can imagine. Just done in miniature format which is kinda neat, right? I'm not saying to put them on your dog or anything but that's kinda cool idea. So let's uh, continue. So you're gonna go into your very last one that you did. Now this is part of the very first one here. This one right here. So that's part of the first. So you're just gonna slip stitch it to the beginning. So just watch your slip stitching as you go all the way around. So let's move on to round number two. It says chain one and one single crochet in each of the first two. So let's do that again. So one and two in a row. And then it says two single crochets in the next one. So one and two. One single crochet in the next two single crochets. So one and two. And then the next one has two single crochets in the same one. So one and two. Just like that. So now the remaining all the way around is just gonna be one single crochet. What this is doing is it's making space for your thumb for later on because the thumb actually has to be done a little bit separately in the end from what I'm reading ahead. Okay, so you single crochet yourself all the way back to the very beginning and then slip stitch to the first single crochet that you had started with. So let's move on and what we're going to do is that we're going to do the hand. So we're already gonna do the hand now. That's how fast this goes. So it's gonna be chain one and then one single crochet in each of the next first two single crochets. So one and two and it says skip the next four single crochets. So we're gonna skip those. So one, two, three and four. So we're gonna go to the fifth and then we are going to single crochet into the fifth one plus all of the remaining ones for that round. So this is leaving the tiny little hole that it's gonna be leaving for a thumb. This is how you do adult size and kid sizes mitts too. So you just come all the way back to the very beginning. Okay, and then join it with the slip stitch at the, the beginning one, the beginning, beginning single crochet that you started with. So let's move on and it says chain one, one single crochet into each all the way around. So go into the very first one, single crochet into that one plus all the remaining ones around. Remember that you did, um, you skipped over the chain four before you don't need to worry about it you just keep on going just on this new round that you had created before. So just one single crochet in each all the way around. And then just join that with the slip stitch. and then just join it to the first one that you started with. So let's keep on moving across and now we're going to repeat the second round one more time. So just chain up one, one single crochet into each going all the way around. Please do that and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So we're gonna finish the final two rounds that it takes to do the, the hand part. So now we're gonna chain up one and we're gonna do one single crochet in the first single crochet. And so there's a repeat pattern going around. So the next two are gonna be come together. So going into the stitch, pull through. This is a single crochet two together. Go into the next stitch, pull through. You got three loops on the hook, pull through all three. So those two just became one. So the next one is one single crochet by itself. And then the next two are together. So just going in, pull through, go to its neighbor, pull through, and then pull through all three. So the next one's by itself and then the next two are together. Please do that same pattern going all the way around. 
for this part. Once you're getting all the way back around you're just going to slip stitch to the first single crochet. So now you have your final round to do. Let me just slip stitch before I move on. So we're going to do one more final round and that's it. So we're going to chain one and single crochet together five times in a row. So just coming into the first one, pull through and the next one pull through, pull through all three loops and do the next two together and you're gonna do that a total of five times. So what you're going to do is that once you get this done is that you're going to leave an extra long tail and then you're just gonna sew the, the bottom of the mitt together. You're just gonna pull through so that it closes it all in together and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment too. Just like you see, so I'm working my way across. This is the last time and then I slip stitch to the first one and then I leave an extra long tail. So you can see that there's still a hole in the very top. So you're just gonna leave an extra long tail, pull this loop through and with the darning needle I want you to close that off. Okay, so there's a total of five stitches that are exposed just based on the math and just gonna just go in okay and then just collect them all. So you notice I'm not pulling on it before I get all the way around because then I can pull on it and everything will condense at the same time. So coming right back to where you started with and then just pull and that pulls it nice and closed. So just go across it and then just back and forth just to close it off. So once you have that done just weave it in and out of your work a total of three times. Just like that. Okay, so there is your mitten. So what are you missing? You're missing the thumb. So let's just trim that out and move along to doing the thumb next. So doing the thumb I want to use the same color unless you wanna change the color, it's up to you. Um, so to do the same color and then I wanna put it onto the loop. So I want to go in with a slip stitch to the first skipped of the thumb gusset. So remember that there's four um, chains that were that you skipped over. So you're gonna go into the first one and you were just going to attach it with a slip stitch just like this. So now you're gonna do a single crochet into the same one and to the next three. So just, um, just chain one, single crochet into that one and then remember there's a total of four. So this is the second, third and fourth and then that's it. So what I'm gonna do is this um, extra chain or sorry extra string I'm just gonna pull it through the, the inside so it's out of my way and then I'm going to slip stitch it then to the first single crochet that I started with on this side. So just turn it around and you'll get it over here. Just slip stitch it everything's gonna be really tight when you do this and that's really no difference from doing an adult size or kid size either. So now that you've done that we're going to do one more time and we're just gonna do one single crochet and then one single crochet into, sorry chain one, one single crochet into each of the four once again. So once you have this done you just leave the extra long tail again and just draw everything through to create the thumb look and again everything's gonna be really kinda tight here because it's a, such a small area to work with but just take your time because you wanna do a good job because the, it's all in the thumb right? And then slip stitch it to the very beginning one. So if you're having trouble slip stitching it to the first one what I would do not cheating I'm just saying <laughs> there's a difference. So I'm just gonna pull this through. I didn't slip stitch it like I was supposed to. So it's just easier if I just take the darning needle because it's so tight in there. It's that I'm just going to put it to the first one. So I'm just dragging it kind of through. So then you're just gonna just secure the end just like so. So just in and out of your work a total of three times. So one two and three and this is the thumb. So then you can just trim that off 
and then the one that's at the base on the inside you can just uh, kind of flip it a little bit if you want to and then just use a darning needle for there too and just put that in and out three times. You know it all depends on how much wear and tear that you plan on making on these projects but you know you also take the time because this is a recyclable project. You can uh, display this year after year. Um, so if you take your time the very first time then you'll be happy with it and never have to worry about it when you pull it out of your box next year for Christmas. So there is your mitten just like so. So what are we missing? We're missing the top loop in order to do it but you can see you can make really cute mittens. So let's do our loop next and then we'll call this tutorial quits for today and then after this one we're gonna move on to the holly next. So let's do the top loop. Just leave an extra long strand of string first before creating the slip knot and you want to do a total of chaining of nine. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine and then just leave an extra long tail at the end of that as well and just pull that through. So just give it a good yank both sides. Fold it in half. Okay so then just pull the strings so that you can see where they're gonna end and if they're not ending together at the same spot just trim them. You're good. So put that onto a darning needle both of those strands at the same time and the way that they have this hung is that you can see that there is a slip stitch here okay on the other side. It's not really obvious. It's a great pattern. So they've just put the handle through the loop through the back section here. So you're just gonna pull it through and then you're just gonna push it through the loop and then back through the same part of that project and you're gonna do that a total of twice. Okay, there's your loop and then all you're just gonna do is you can match it to the same one in the back. So just drag it through the top of the mitten total three times. So one, two and three and then therefore you can hang that from your tree or anything that you'd like to decorate it with. And again that's all subjective. You can use these little mittens to decorate wreaths and stuff even if you wanted to leave the handle off. Be a cute idea to make a mitten wreath as well. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of Yarnspirations.com as well as the Crochet Cubs. Let's move along next to the Holly. We'll see you again real soon. Bye. -bye.